Hello and welcome to Soul Love with Kimness. I am Kim van der Zanden, your host, and I'm super excited to share another episode of Soul Love with you, where we share inspirational and empowering stories from the heart. We talk about the beauty and the shadows as both are part of the ascension journey, to remind you that you are powerful, you are magical, and to have trust in what you feel to be true deep within. Enjoy this next episode of Soul Love. Before we start the next Soul Love conversation, I want to invite you to check out my amazing book, Activating the Flower of Love, a sacred guide for manifesting your deepest desires and highest calling. This sacred book filled with powerful tools and activations will guide you to open your heart to the beauty and wisdom within you, empowering you to create the life you deeply desire from the foundation of love. You can find Activating the Flower of Love in all the major online and offline bookstores in ebook or paperback, or you can check it out through my website, kimnes.nl, where you can also discover the different ways of working with me and the latest updates on new starting programs. Enjoy this next episode of Soul Love. Welcome everyone to a new episode of Soul Love and today I am excited and honored to share a sacred conversation with Brittany Floyd and I'm really excited because this is the first episode of season five already so we're moving quickly so I'm honored to share this conversation. Welcome. Oh, thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure being here. I it, I feel like it's been a long time waiting. I feel like yes. <laughs> Even though like I've just recently, we've just recently begun to know and, you know, get to know each other. I feel like it's just still been a long time waiting. Yeah, <laughs> it is, but with some souls, you just feel like there is this longer connection or, and I, yeah, I, I know, like, I know that there are a lot, for me, there are past lifetimes and all of that. So in a way we were connected in beautiful ways and I'm excited to share because I really love what you're sharing into the world and beautiful paintings and your beautiful energy and how you're stepping up and sharing your voice and your message and bringing that all out into the world but I'm wondering like what I always love to ask the question what sparked you to be on this journey and to because your 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 painting and your artwork comes from this deep sense of inner knowing and co-creation with the universe but was it always this way or was there some particular thing that activated you to do this okay so let's, let's go back a little bit um to my childhood now I know my mom was always creative. She worked in the craft um, department for over 20 years. Uh, So I watched her like transform our house. She was really big in home decor and stuff like that. So I watched her do that. I didn't really partake in that. I was more of an outside nature girl. Let let me get in some dirt. Let me go swimming, you know, do do dumb stuff. And then also, um, it wasn't until I got into my teenager years, I went through um, some really rough patches. I felt like I didn't belong, like I wasn't, you know, depression began to hit pretty hard. And, um, and I was in the nursing um, field later, later on, I want to say, and I, I had to end it in 2019 due to an injury. So I have scoliosis. So I was born with it. Mm-hmm. And it was never bad enough for them to do surgery. It was just, you know, here is something and, you know, like yeah. none of the stuff was working. None of like none of the stuff that they provided me was working with the pain and stuff. And then I was doing home health. So the, the this man was 300 pounds and I had to literally lift him into the shower. Like, you know, he could help me some, but like it just became too much. Yeah. And then, um, so I had to stop. And then, you know, I was in a, I was kind of in a bad relationship, pretty toxic one. And I just felt like the world was, was just like crashing down on me. Yeah. And then I was like, something is missing, you know, something is missing in my life. So then I just um, started to, I felt very insecure, mm-hmm. you know, cause I didn't know who, who I was or like where I was at this point I think I was also in the process of grieving you know like the old me and um just feeling lonely super lonely even though I was surrounded with people I just Mm. felt very alone and so I kind of went inside myself and um I always knew that nails made me feel pretty (laughs) right nails made me it's just that one thing that just kind of 
you know, amped your, your confidence a little yeah. bit. <laughs> and so I began to do my own nails. Yeah. And then somehow miraculously began a, I just got invited to this nail group where there was this world of press on nails and like everybody was shipping them off. I'm like, I could do this, you know, like I could do I this. Love, yes. <laughs> so, so then that's how it kind of began. I, and then, you know, I started off with just, you know, six gel polishes. I had one set of nails and just was just filing. And that was in, um, 2019 into 2020 is when I started the business in 2020 yeah. and then in 2021 I got introduced to Reiki so um and then that really really transformed my life so I'm just now getting to that point where I just feel like creativity has uh you know just being one with my art has allowed me to be able to express myself freely and just be just Yes. See me. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Yeah, it really ge ge gives a lot of confidence in in yeah. But it starts small. That that's what I love in your journey because I think a lot of us, in our unique way, we can be surrounded by a lot of people, but we feel lonely because we feel un misunderstood or there are things where we feel so different. And and that's also our gift. But when we're in this space of I don't know what or the uncertainty and all of that it can really bring us in the in the state of a depression or what I love in your story like you followed your sacred yeses or your excitement and sometimes we can think like okay what am I doing but I love you like this spark you have you you followed like the okay when I put on these beautiful nails I feel beautiful and and out of that by you saying yes to you and what sparked in your life it unfolded in beautiful like Reiki coming on your path and 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 the beautiful paintings you're now making and how you're supporting others to really create from this universal connection and and this deep deep truth they feel within themselves but it is this sometimes this one where our mind can think okay this is something insignificant but you followed that you said okay this is the one thing that makes me feel beautiful and also shares the power of joy because I, I'm all yeah. about when you follow your joy, your joy is truly guiding you in the direction of your higher purpose or your mission. And you following like, okay, these nails, they bring me joy. And 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 now as well, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm more of the natural nails, but I really love what you're <laughs> okay. creating. You sometimes share them on Facebook and they are artwork. But I can also imagine what, because especially with your Reiki and what they do when you put them on and when they, like, it's a, it's a living artwork that you're expressing yourself through and yeah. Yeah, and it, and it's so great, and I also I think I think the really what what it really came down to, and what really made me want to start the nail uh, you know nail business is that I wanted other women to feel yeah. the same way, you yes. know, like those that are in because I knew plenty of women that were going through the, you know darker times, and I'm like, here, try these, yes, <laughs> you I know, like it. here, try these, and it yeah. kind of you know just. I just want uh, women to, you know, we live in a world where, you know, women, I love when women empower other women. Yeah. And that was really, really what I was trying to aim at. Not to mention, I didn't even realize what it was doing for my own self, like yes. the artwork sitting there and really being able, how it reduces stress and how it boosted my confidence and really allowed me to go within myself and mm -hmm and dig deep within myself and it's just like now I feel like I'm a whole new person yes. <laughs> I <laughs> love I feel like a, yeah wow. it's really but I love I love that message empowering other women because it is when when we feel beautiful and it doesn't matter if it's something outside of in that ripples out and we get to inspire others in doing the same but how, how did you notice the transition from um starting this business and creating this into more in the universal because now like also your artwork when you look at it it has so many different dimensions where where did you notice the shift happening in that way you could truly allow because it's like opening your channel and we all channel yeah. universal energy in different ways and and you're you're channeling it in paintings and in the things you are expressing and your nails and all of that but well, where did you notice the shift from yeah Shortly after, you know, I want to say, um, so I started with doing nails yeah. in, in 2020, and then I became a Reiki practitioner in 2021. And I want to say in 2022, that's when things started like really pivoting for me because I was really going within myself, you know what I mean? Like it wasn't just like, that's when I noticed like that's what kind of, it's kind, art is kind of meditative. 
Yeah. You know, that's when I was going within myself and it's kind of allowed me to organize my thoughts. And that, and then next thing I know, I have something on, <laughs> on here, you I know, love- and and it also meditation, meditation, sometimes, you know, my, my visions come through meditation or um, card pooling. Sometimes I'll pull a card. I have a painting here that is a peacock. I call it. She's a humanoid peacock. And um, I pulled her from cards. One was, it was like, um, it was a peacock and it said, raise your standards. And so I named her Truth and I gave her a whole story (laughs) as I'm painting. So like she, uh, you know, peacocks represent beauty, you know, of course, with all their beautiful things. So she alert, you know, she um, lures them in with her her beauty and then she compels them to tell the truth, which is why she's blue. So, you know, which is associated with the third chakra. So I really love to incorporate all the little things of like my wisdom into into the paintings as well. I love that. Yeah. And how how did you shift like for everyone tuning in as well? Because I know sometimes when we try to create something, our mind can think like, okay, it needs to look like this or it needs to be perfect. But really step into this creative flow. I don't know how, because you're guiding now others in their creative expression and in creative workshops and all of that. But what is your advice in really letting whatever, because because in a way it's also healing. It's also like therapeutic. It's also bringing all that we've experienced into a beautiful creation and by that releasing also, instead of that it gets stuck in our system or in ourselves. Yeah. Or, yeah. Um, so really, I still struggle with that sometimes, if I'm being completely honest. I struggle with the frustration if it doesn't go the certain way, but I have noticed like I'm allowing, I'm just allowing myself. If I, if I have a little accident, okay, do I want to fix this? Cause with painting, you could fix it. Yes. You could fix it. And, and I think the, I think the my is just to keep going. Sometimes yeah. if you just allow it to take you into places, like you'll just, it will just flow and it will bring you, I think, I think what, you know, when you get in those moments of frustration of like things not going your way, I have this thing like, okay, I'm aware of it now. Let me bring myself back. This is supposed to be joyous. This is supposed to be fun. This is, okay, let me just flow, you know, and I kind of shake it off and maybe I need to step away for a minute and then come back to it, which I wish I have. I have some paintings that I haven't even finished that have been sitting there for a year because yeah. I, eventually I'm going to go back to it. I love <laughs> that. Yeah. yeah. yeah so. But also that feels like a healing journey. And it's almost like also when, when we go into this inner exploration of ourselves, sometimes certain uh, blockages or traumatic experience they are so painful and when we're ready they open up but it's not with hard force so I love as you shared like also the paintings grow with you and sometimes you need to put them away for a year because you are you need to receive certain codes or as certain things need to be healed within yourself before you get ready I love that but then with that I think not even with paintings but I love like because it's an important key to just for a moment take a step back and to shake your body or move because I also when when we feel stressed or traumatic we're both moms and hectic in in family life it's good to sometimes breathe and take a step back and to just see things from a different perspective so I think it's also beautiful advice with paintings and with yeah I think it's amazing this uh, yeah, you could. this camp Sorry, we, were, we were camping two weeks and there were a lot of creative workshops but they had like dot painting like just on a piece of wood or anything but but it was really meditative to do that I'm I'm I, I, I've let go of a lot of creative things, but it was really fun. It awakened within me like it's okay. There's this whole energy that wants to come through and it, there's not there's no pressure or you don't have to do anything. And I think for a lot of us, like coming back into this almost childlike exploration or I think it's such a gift if we bring that energy back into our lives and into, yeah. Yeah, and I, I definitely agree with you in that. And it's so, since I've done that, you know, like since I've become aware, like, okay, I'm str- I'm stressing myself out. Let me step back and and shake it off. It's actually allowed me to just create even like fun paintings now. Yes. I'm where I'm currently working on a barn. I ca- I'm going to call it the Barnyard Bliss Collection, and it's about barnyard animals for my deep love of animals and just a fun way. And I actually got inspired. So when you uh, when I step away, sometimes I go outside in nature and just breathe in the fresh air and watch the birds. And my neighbor has chickens, <laughs> so 
Um, I always hear them, you know, they become a part of my life. They'll, they'll come in my yard. Sometimes they'll get out of their, you know, gate and they'll jump over into my yard and eat all the, you know, little stuff in there. And it just brings me in a, a, you know, an immense amount of joy. So I was like, how fun would it be? And it just hit me one day. Let me create um, pieces in, in, in an abstract kind of way, in a fun way that just bring, you know, bring love and light to um, barnyard animals. And so I, I did. That. So my first, I just put out my first piece, uh, collection piece, and it's called Fried Chicken. <laughs> and it's got, and you know, it's got different things, but it also has, you know, like I have spiritual symbolism in there. Um, you know, with with protection and, you know, like the spiritual uh, meanings of the animals within themselves in the painting. So I've definitely, I uh, yes, yeah, I it's, it's definitely out of my, like, I know so it's not going to be everyone's, <laughs> you no. know, cup of tea, but that's okay. That's yes. okay. So yes. I love it. And it brings me so much joy. And I can't, you know, it's going to bring somebody else um, mm -hmm. an amount of joy as well. So. But I love <laughs> But that's the gift. That's the power. You expressing your uniqueness gives others like the opportunity to also do that or the permission in a way or because that's what I love, like your enthusiasm and also how you're guiding on the Breakthrough Show Network. You have a, a channel where you are supporting others in, in creative craft work or what I love, like it is like, yeah, not, not being OK with however it comes out. And, yeah, and it, that is the gift when you can truly surrender to that. Uh, you give also other people the permission and then we can allow the energy to flow. And I love the symbolism that then is in the paintings and all of that. But it's it's getting sometimes out of our own way and really, OK, maybe indeed if uh, if you make a mistake for our mind, whoever knows in the playfulness, just go with it and see what happens when you allow that. And because that's also in life when we never know what's going to happen tomorrow or next week or next year, but it is in the resilience to say yes to, okay, yeah, I see this. And to take a step back and to see, okay, how can we move forward? Even though it's not per se what our mind thinks it needs to look like and to really be in the present to, to do that because the painting in your back is also one you created uh, with a beautiful love yeah. and uh, yeah. I love that. Yeah, and definitely. Um, I think I feel like it's also, you know, not only does being creative, and we're not just talking about painting. No. You know, you can be creative with the things that you wear, um, the thing, the food that you eat, how you cook, how, you know, writing. Just everything is, is art. Yes. Yes. <laughs> everything is is art. Everything that you surround yourself with art. You can even be creative in your own home, how you, you're decorating it, gardening, gardening, you know, and it, and it allows you, it not only does that creativity allows you to, you know, open, like think outside of the box. Yes. It really does. So it helps you solve problems. Say, you, say you're going through a really tough situation and you, you need clarity, mm -hmm. sit down and doodle yes. Yes. <laughs> or color. And yeah. just and, and just focus focus in that present moment. It really does. It really allows you to bring you and allows you to bask in that creativity in in the present moment. And it just opens so many doors for you. Yeah. It's and I feel like it's put it's literally pushed me. It's pushing me out of my comfort zone. So if yes. you would ask me to do something like this last year, I would have been like, uh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but that is um, yes. Yeah. yeah. I celebrate you for that because it's really like each time it stretches us beyond what but in that we grow and we do things we were we but again coming back to you saying yes to the nails because that opened this whole door to what you're doing right now. But if you never said yes to that like also the next step will never unfold and it's really sometimes we don't know where one thing leads like you shared a year ago if I would ask you then for the podcast but now you've so grown into your light and but, but it is by you taking the steps and by you being brave enough to come out of your comfort zone and share your gifts and your beautiful creations and I love the advice on doodling or making with or coloring when we feel something because then we're getting out of our heads and into just expression and that opens up beautiful things but also I, again as you shared as well I love the chicken as well because somehow a lot of us and also for me you like sometimes we lose the wonder as a child we find everything magical and 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 beautiful and amazing but I love as you started painting and expressing this chicken we can take that for granted but it when you look through the lens of an artist you suddenly see see beauty and you see to totally different things and it's really I think I'm also coming back to the sacredness of life like 
instead of just taking everything like, okay, it's just this, or it's just a random car where I'm driving in, or it's just a random garden I have, or the food that I have on my plate or the house that I have to really look through the lens, okay, the, of gratitude, of love, of appreciation, of wonder how everything works. And yeah, I think that's really, it opens up a whole new way of looking at the world when you do that. Yeah, I don't know how, how that's for you, but yeah. because you're also a, a very good gardener and really loving, like, uh, as, as, as you always share, like spending time in nature and yeah. Yeah, and then what's funny is that it wasn't until I started doing nails that I even got into gardening. It just <laughs> like has opened, like it has opened, you know, like a huge, uh, I don't know, I don't, it's just allowed me to be more open, open to yes. the, open to the universe, open to, to everything. Yeah. And just being like, being able to provide food for, for my children in the creative way, because, you know, a lot of the things that I used were free material. So I had to think creative, yes. <laughs> creatively in order to, in order to, you know, bring my garden to where it is now. Um, and I, and I feel like it's just, it's just a lot, you, like you, like you said, it's just this, this openness. Yeah. It, it just unlocks this openness. And I feel like being in nature really has done that for me. Yeah. So like, that's what's really at the end of the day, you know, has sparked this creativity is because I used to sit outside on my back patio and just watch the birds. If you really just take a moment at five minutes, 10 minutes out of your day to just yes. sit outside and just watch. Yeah. Just watch everything around. It's so magical. Yes, it, it really yeah. is. It's so magical. Yeah. And it does. It brings that inner child. It brings that inner child out. And it just like this, this freedom, yes. you know, when you're, when you're able to express yourself through whatever, um, you know, medium that you want through art, it, it just, it's just a sense of freedom. Yeah. It is, yeah. And it doesn't yeah. even mean that it needs to go out into the world, but it's you allowing your energy to flow and also like really bringing it back into the now moment. Because in the now moment, there are no worries about tomorrow and uh, fear about the past or whatever. It's just being present. And then if you truly open this channel, because then you go out of resistance and you go into flow and then suddenly the universe can, it's almost like, I, I think for me as well, as you shared, like artwork or being creative in whatever way feels aligned, but it's, going with the stream of life instead of against it. And even if it's just five minutes a day or 10 minutes a day, it already changes so many dyna dynam uh, dynamics in your body, in your system, in your field. Sometimes we, we, as a human, we don't even understand the profoundness of meditating five minutes or spending time in nature, watching wonder, like the power of gratitude and also the power of, of doodling or I really love the dot dot. So I'm that's going to be my new thing, like <laughs> dot painting. It's so simple, but it's so magical to just take a beautiful piece of wood out of nature that is already on the ground and and just little painful dots. Or but it's really really meditative because it doesn't have to become for me. Then it doesn't have to become something. But it's you're really really present because it's so fine and you need to be very detailed and very. But that takes you out of all the worries, out of all the fear, out of all of that mind space. And it's really like being in your heart and being in your body and co-creating with all the elements of you. And it, yeah, so and that, that's what I love when I see your work. Like it has this spark and also how you are blooming and blossoming in what you're doing and sharing with the world. But it starts with you. Like that's what I love in your story as well. It starts with you choosing you. You yeah. wanting to feel beautiful again and starting with sometimes for our mind, this very small, ins insignificant thing. But it opened up this whole thing because you chose you and see where you're standing now, looking back to, to 2019. So I think it's for everyone a motivation to follow your joys and follow your passions and follow whatever sparks you and makes you feel beautiful. And yeah, so I think it's really amazing. Yeah, I, do. I I love I love the way you speak, Kim. <laughs> you just have this way of just saying everything so perfectly every time, and, and you've explained it so um, perfectly, exactly. Um, I, and I would really like to backtrack a little bit on um, when you were talking about like the frustrations. Maybe yeah. like sometimes it's not so joyous, and and I think that. I think that's one of the reasons why I wanted to really create that um, through the Bake Through Show Network a community um, is 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 
when you bring that that community and creativity together, it just creates this like beautiful, um, powerful synergy that can lead to personal breakthroughs, even just together. Yeah. Say, say maybe like you're you're having a creative block or you're feeling some kind of way just being in the in the moment of creativity, whether like like the simple just even if you're not doing anything. Even yeah. if you're just seeing what everybody else is doing, it kind of it kind of allows you to. Um, it's like we inspire each other when we yeah. when we're when we're together. We motivate each other. We can share. And and the thing about the craft circle is that not everyone is doing the same thing. Everyone is doing something completely different from one another. And it's just beautiful to share like you know or seek you know we could seek insp inspiration like or um seek advice what what color do you feel like would look best with this because sometimes you know we're struggling we struggle with a little bit of the indecisiveness of where we want to go with yeah. it and to have that support there um is is just a beautiful thing in it and we could just celebrate celebrate the fact that we took the time out to dive deep into yeah. our into ourselves oh. and not only to mention like colors bring healing too yes yeah, you know colors bring healing into your life so it is yeah yeah even thing. like i i think on my on the flower of love that love website i i created a blog about that but it, it's like even the colors we wear they influence our body our system so if we want a certain outcome we can also be conscious aware of the colors like each color has a certain energy and a certain vibration and a message so we can play with that or the colors we surround ourselves with but it's again also with paintings and with craft works and all of that so like but again that's coming back to the wonder like we take everything sometimes yeah. so for granted, but everything is energy. Everything, our words, our expressions, mm -hmm. our creations, our colors, everything that surrounds us has a vibrational resonance. And when we can become aware of that, like we see again, the wonder, the magic, the alchemy, because painting in a way is also alchemy because you're bringing a lot of energies and frequencies and all of that together into one sacred creation. And that is power because that's what I love as you shared, like you now this new painting of a chicken but also sacred geometry and codes and, and this deeper message uh, of the animal, of the symbolism and all of that, bringing that together. Like it's you being this Merlin energy that brings all of these, but it's understanding the power we all hold to do that. It's not per se in the old parad paradigm way it would be okay, a painting of a chicken. No, there are so many things that are coming together. So many things that are aligning to bring this one thing together. And it's the same with, if you have a ch channel, the book or whatever way, like, when you birth the creation into the world to see the sacredness of that and to also celebrate yourself for doing that and for yeah so i think that's really huge and if people want to join because they can join on the breakthrough show network and join you in your craft work how can they join maybe it's good to share uh yeah um you would just go to um the break breakthrough show network dot club and in the artist studio, um, it will have a, a, a list there. If you click on it, it will have all my upcoming updates. Okay. And then on the on the calendar as well, under the events tab as well, you can okay. find that. I will share the link below. And if you want to find out more how you can work with Brittany and her beautiful, find our beautiful paintings and her beautiful nails, I will share all the information below the video or audio, whatever way you're tuning in. But I think that's really, really amazing. And, and it is like, it reminds me of where two or more are gathered, magic is created. And it doesn't matter if you're working on your own project, but you're choosing to come together in this creative energy creates this acceleration of that is not only beautiful for what you're creating, but it also heals yourself. And it's really community is so important to be seen, to be celebrated, to be acknowledged in this uplifting way. We all need that in our lives. So I think that's really a beautiful gift. So I would say tune in and see if you can join one live or yeah, that would be really amazing. If there's one yeah, last message, it, you yeah, oh yes, yes. Oh yeah, I would just like to say, I would because I love, you know, how I love love. So <laughs> it's like one of those things that, you know, say yes to creativity. Yes. Because you're saying now you're saying yes to yourself. You're saying yes to loving yourself. You're saying yes to explore deeper parts of yourself. And it allows you to be, be able to be open and vulnerable also with other people. So say yes to creativity. I love that. Yes, and it truly, and that's what I love in your story. It opens up so much by 
this one act of you choosing you and you choosing what brings you joy and you choosing, yeah, I really, that's a, an amazing message. So I would say tune in and, and let your inner child play again and explore the different ways in which we can be creative and what is your way to be creative. And I was also wondering because your nails, you also make them on order or when people have a certain thing they desire or. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I do custom, I do custom orders and I ship uh, currently all, only in the U.S. I just haven't shipped anything outside of the U.S. currently because I got to figure out the insurance and all of that with that. Yes. So it can get a little bit complicated and tricky a little bit yes. on my end. Um, so, so, yes, um, they can visit um, sacredyunsecrets.com. You will also see the gallery of my nails and all of that stuff, so which I'm sure you'll drop the link. Yes, I will <laughs> share it as well. So that's really amazing. So thank you for sharing your light and sharing your voice and inspiring us with your beautiful creations and creating these sacred spaces of love and creativity. And it's really a blessing to see. So, and everyone tuning in, thank you for tuning in. And please check out all the beautiful things we're sharing and check out the links of Brittany. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next Soul Love podcast. So for now, much love and see you soon. Bye. Thank you for joining this episode of Soul Love. If you want to find out more about what we do, you can find it below. And I'll see you in the next episode. Much love.